get excited because new moon in Sagittarius November 30th is happening just in time for us to go into December. So in this new moon, it is going to be a lot happening, exciting stuff because Sagittarius is that fiery sign baby eyes on the price making it happen and you know new moon is all about new intention manifestation galore so if you are interested i'm gonna be sharing with you the five ways on how you can manifest your best life ever and how you can work with the sagittarius new moon energy to do just that so if you're interested keep on watching Okie dokie, welcome back my divine humans. Uh, this is Tina Wong, for those of you who are new. <laughs> welcome back to the channel. We talk about cosmic energies, um, the alignment, how to shift your reality, and also how to step into your truest and highest self ever. If you're interested in any of that, be subscribed to the channel. Hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like to be here. <laughs> welcome! Uh, if you're new here, um, obviously, welcome. And if you're around, I love you. You know what I always say. Okay, so let's talk about the five ways on how you can manifest with the new moon um, in Sagittarius and how you can manifest your most aligned life ever. This new moon is all about manifestation and manifestation galore, as I mentioned, so let's get into it. Number one, number uno. Number one, the first way that you can manifest with this Sagittarius new moon is to understand a little bit, okay, about the sign of the Sagittarius. Sagittarius, like I said, fiery sign, eye on the prize, target baby, let's go, okay? LFG, okay, LFG. The energy of I am clear, let's go. But not only that, it's about setting um, new intentions and new targets and elevating and up-leveling what you want, what you get to have in life and your new visions. Because um, new moon is about setting intentions, right? And full moon is about receiving that manifestation. So when you're seeding the intention, are you setting an okay seed so that you don't get disappointed, right? If you are the creator of your world, if we live in an infinite world an infinite universe right because what we experience in life is what we feel that we are deserving of what we feel is possible for us so when while you're here you're like well i don't know if you know i can really manifest x amount of money well for the next person it's like obviously that's my minimum of course i can do that the only difference is that what you think is possible and what that person deem as possible right? But it's all possible. You know, you can think it's possible for you to make $1,000 a month or $10,000 a month or $100,000 a month as an example. Like whatever you feel that is possible, it's possible, okay? If you think, oh, you know, all men are liars and cheaters and scumbags of the world, you know, and if I get into a relationship with one, that'll be okay. It'll never be perfect. I mean, if you really believe that all men are like that, then, you know, you probably highly go to manifest someone who is like that. And you're like, of course, see, I was right. It's because of your belief, okay? So what this new moon is about is checking your belief, honey. You get to have the good stuff, okay? You get to have the good stuff in life, okay? Remember, so when you know that you get to have the good stuff in life, you are deserving. And I talk more about this in the full moon in Taurus of this month, highly Recommend you rewatch that video if you haven't, if you've seen it. Very good about deserving, raising your value, receiving more money, stuff like that, you know, receiving the true things. So I talk more about that then. Okay, so this one is about elevating your standards, right? Why are you just manifesting? I just want a boyfriend. Well, the universe is going to give you a boyfriend, okay? But are they going to be, you know, um, caring, loyal, committed, like a gentleman? Well, I'm not sure because you just asked for a boyfriend because that's your standard, right? So I want you to raise the standards, honey, raise the bar. You get to have other things, but what do you think is possible? I want first thing, okay, get clear on it. New moon, how you work with it is setting the intention, but you cannot set an intention if you're like, gray or blurry about it write it down nothing is clearer than pen and paper honey that's why i have my trusted uh book 
notebook with me, which I sometimes cannot read my own writing, but nevertheless, it is written down. So I invite you to do the same. Okay. So number two, number two, the number two way on how you can work with this new moon in Sagittarius, November thirtieth energy is to how ask yourself how do you view your life because how do you view your life affects you, affects how you live it. What's the color? That you see, what do you color it with? So if you feel life is like a freaking struggle, then what do you think you're gonna experience? Struggles, right? So when you're in this Sagittarius energy, it's all about re reevaluating, reflecting, because Sagittarius is sign of the archer, of the philosopher, of the sage. How do you define this life? How do you deem that reality?、Um, Works for you? Do you always think that it works in your favor, or you think that it just random events, or you think that you are in no control, or do you think that you are the creator of your life? Let me know down below, right? Because whatever it is that you say, whatever that it is that you declare, what is it that you know to be true? That's why we're here learning this, and you know the path of spirituality is getting to the crust of the truth because that truth will set you free, right? When you think your world is random, when you think that bad thing just Kind of always happen because it's always been like that. Your past defines your future. If you believe in that stuff, then that's the world you live in. Okay, so if you are complaining about that, I wonder why. Okay, but if you're ready to change that, if you're if you're saying that for the longest time, and you're like, ah,、oh, I need to call myself on my own crap, Tina. I see it now. If you're ready for that, change the narrative. Okay, change the narrative. Set an intention. I live in a beautiful, harmonious world. Okay, I am the creator of my life. If my inner world is peaceful, okay, then I will have definitely peace being reflected in my out outside world.、And、let me ask you this: for those of you who are on the self development journey, the、uh, spiritual journey, which I assume that you are, that's why you are here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> okay. Um, is you are on this journey, and have you what have you seen your world shifted? Because you have shifted, right? When we shift our perception of ourselves. The world has to mirror that because the real world is in here, up in here. Okay, the outside world is a mirror reflection. So you don't be looking outside. Why is it not changing? Why is it still there? No, no. You change inside, and outside world changes. That's the number two way. Okay, I have three more percent of this、uh, battery, so gotta go quick. Okay, three number three. Okay, number three. How you can work with this new moon in Sagittarius energy is <sighs> get clear because Sagittarius is about getting clear about what you want. But when you are clear, there's no need to slow down. Okay, you go, honey. You go full force. You let go. You let go of that arrow and let it fly. Watch it fly. The problem I see with most people is that like they're in that. Limbo. I know that I'm meant to do this thing. I'm meant to quit that job. I'm meant to do the thing. I'm meant to、uh, sign up for this, but I'm scared. But then I I'm ready and I know. But then I'm afraid. But what if I can't make it? But do you know that you're meant to be there? Do you know this is the life you you meant to live? Do you know that you're meant to be that healer? Do you know that you're meant to speak? Do you know that you're meant to rise? Do you know that you're meant to live a good life? Do you know that you're meant to be in Mexico, <laughs> right? Whatever it is that you know, you are clear about the divine instructions in your life, then you must follow it. Okay, your own BS is your own BS, but the truth is the truth. Okay, your work and the work that we do here and the work that I help my clients do is to get over their own BS. Okay, because everything you want is on the other side of fear. I can tell you, right now, I, I experience fear because fear is just a feeling, right? Like being sad, being happy, and excited, being fearful. It's just a feel feeling. Okay, something is a fleeting feeling. So I don't put a lot of emphasis on the fear. I focus on what I want instead. Okay, I feel the fear. But I'm gonna do the thing I'm gonna do, okay? Even though it's like bringing up a lot of stuff, but I know in my heart because I've been practicing with that. I am very <laughs> fearful right now that my thing is gonna shut down.、Um, so I'm gonna go really quick. Number four is the number four way is asking yourself why are you still stalling, okay? Why are you still stalling on the thing that you know that you're meant to do? Do it, okay? Do it. Keep it short. Number five. Number five ways on how you can work with this new moon energy is. What does it say? 
Oh yes, <laughs> it's having your eyes on the prize and being very clear with it. Okay, this Sagittarius energy is about working with that major manifestation that it matters to you. So focus on it. This is what I want. Ask yourself, what is the most important manifestation in your life right now? What is your number one priority right now? Choose it, go after it, and say it out loud with me. It is done. Living from the end, deciding that you are deserving of all of it. If you, if you enjoy this video, like this video. If you want to be a part of the community, I would love to have you here. Hit that subscribe button to be a part of the community and also help me spread the word, the good vibes that I always send you. Extra, extra blessings to be here as a subscriber. That is my promise to you. I always send extra good vibes. <laughs> and also, I will be making a um, meditation for the new moon as per usual. So. Be be sure to check that out. I love you and I'll talk to you soon.